Disasters happen every day. Floods and hurricanes, tornadoes and forest fires. Crisis Cleanup connects survivors, emergency call centers, and emergency management centers to those who have the capacity to help in a meaningful way. Here is how people use Crisis Cleanup. Crisis Cleanup found volunteer organizations to manage virtual call centers. People started calling and asking for help. After receiving a call, operators enter and organize the information that they receive so that every crew will get real-time data about what homes have been taken care of what homes are being assisted, and what homes still need assistance. Then slot team leaders log on to crisiscleanup.com and go to a map. They find a red icon and claim the property to clean up. The team drives, in some cases, hundreds of miles away. They are able to start work without ever having to meet up in the command center. Once the work is completed, the team leader reports how many volunteers work, how long they work, closes the work order, and provides any additional notes for the follow-up team. Crisis Cleanup Platform is flexible enough for working in unpredictable situations. Currently, Crisis Cleanup is taking part in the fight against COVID-19. Corona Community is a website that helps volunteers help those who are most in need during these difficult times. It also helps them avoid the gathering that could spread the coronavirus. On the platform, organizations can easily add the area of their responsibility and get access to the Crisis Cleanup Cases database. This allows providing information to other organizations as to which areas are being taken care of and thus avoid duplications. Since 2012, more than 650,000 volunteers have used Crisis Cleanup and have helped in 143 disasters with 25% higher efficiency. Crisis Cleanup has assisted 80,905 households. 20,000 of them wouldn't have received the help without Crisis Cleanup. Crisis Cleanup, it's not a technology, it's a philosophy.